and welcome to my channel. This is just a vlog and I've actually started some uh, cooking behind me here. I've got some chicken cooking. I decided I want to make some enchiladas and because I'm doing keto, I'm going to be making these uh, keto tortillas. <laughs> now, uh, I, I could go ahead and cheat and have a corn tortilla for this, but um, I don't even have corn tortillas. So I'm going to make these tortillas that I've already made before and I kind of like them, so I'm going to go ahead and make them again. Of course, when I made them the first time, I didn't have, wasn't doing a video, there was no distraction, so they came out really well. So I'm just hoping that they come out just as good now. Now, I've been looking at my background. My kitchen's not finished, you guys. We've had to, uh, because of what's going on now, a lot of setbacks. And I had a, a little bit of a setback with my range that I ordered um, for over my stove. I'll tell you my little story. Now I defrosted this chicken and a little pack it down. I don't know why it looked like more, but it's actually just three little chicken strips. So I'm gonna add some um, zucchini that I had cut up. I had bought some zucchinis and then I cut them all up and I prepped them in little zip uh, ziplock bags. Uh, I some of them I put them in freezer bags, so they're in my freezer right now. But these are the last of my fresh zucchini, and I thought, well, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I was thinking about using cauliflower because we've been eating a lot of zucchini lately. And my cauliflower is in the freezer right now. I have one in the fridge, but it was looking kind of weird, brownish. I threw it out. So I'm going to use the last of my zucchini so it doesn't go bad on me. <coughs> Whoa, <laughs> the spices jumping out of that. Where's the thing I was using? Oh, right here. Okay, I just want them to saute a little bit. I have it on low here. And forgive me if it's really noisy. I feel like I have to yell. So my <clears throat> my enchiladas, excuse me again, are going to have chicken and squash. It's a key. I'm just adding this chicken broth. This is the last that I have, so I'm just pouring it in there. Okay. Okay. So I don't have any enchilada sauce, but I do have uh, this can of petite diced tomatoes, and these happen to have green chilies in it. Chilies, and there's like a rotel. So if you've ever had a rotel, you know, like diced tomatoes and just green chilies. That's all it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my blender. Yep. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of chili powder. So I'm trying to decide how much I should. I'm gonna do half a tablespoon. Okay, I get lost. This is my chili powder. And that's, that one's paprika. Okay, so I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of chili powder in there. And then I think I'm gonna add a teaspoon of paprika. Mm, I love the smell. Okay, get that in there. I ended up cleaning out my whole fridge because um, the, the cauliflower that I had in there was prepackaged already, like like rice, and, um, but it was for my uh, produce section, and it just kept, I guess it just got thrown in the back of the fridge and I didn't see it and I was using other things, and then I went to go look today because I had an eggplant and I wanted to make my refried beans, and I have a video for that, um, but I wanted to do that, but the eggplant, it's like, like almost like half of it was like a little soft. So I had to toss that out. I had to toss out the, the cauliflower. I started checking my fridge to see if anything else looked like it was bad. Uh, I pulled out everything, dumped it all out here on the island, and I ended up cleaning everything, cleaning the refrigerator, wiping it down, and then cleaning the little drawers where the vegetables and the fruits go in. And then I rinsed off everything and looked at it very well. And I, whatever was still good, obviously, I put it back in there, dried up some things. <coughs> Or some things you can't wash, like you can't wash onions. But I have my onions out here, and then a couple of them were sprouting. Oh my goodness, so, uh, because I decided to buy like a little bag of onions. And usually I just buy like one or two onions. We go to the store, we get another one, whatever. But because of the situation, you know, I grabbed a little bag, and I guess, you know, they already have some age to them, so they decided to sprout. Okay, so while this is cooking, and uh, chicken is 
Oh my goodness, that's my animals. They need to be fed. Um, yes, honey, I'm coming. I'm gonna feed you. That's my that's my cat. In case some of y'all probably know those noises, but if you don't know, that's a cat. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cook. Let this uh, zucchini get nice and tender, and um, I kind of want that to be cooked before I start, you know, making my tortillas. What is it, baby? Do you want to talk to everybody? They're listening to you right now. Everybody's listening to you. And they're saying, what a naughty, naughty, annoying kitty. Okay, let me feed my kitty and my doggy because she's so sweet. She's just, just looking at me because she knows I'm talking to the cat. Okay, baby, I'm coming. All right, so I've uh, blended up the tomato and I had put... Um, some chili powder, some paprika in there. By the way, to my chicken here, I had added salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, and cumin, and I also went ahead and I seasoned my sauce with that. So that's my enchilada sauce now. Let me show you. I think it looks pretty good. Ooh, ooh like that. <laughs> I don't wanna tilt it too much and pour it all over the place. Okay, so story time before I start making my tortillas. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I ordered a new range for here for my stove because the light hadn't been working for some time, and we had installed other lighting under the cabinets, which we'll get put back because we took it off to paint. Excuse me. I'm putting away stuff as I'm going, as I'm doing this. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, we decided that we needed to replace it, and we were going to get the same. You know the same style just like that a simple one and you know they're under 100 bucks so i thought okay and mine's only 30 inches high that's the space that i have 30 inches so um we were at home depot and i had seen them uh but the one that i wanted wasn't in stock so we said okay well let's wait and i decided to come home and went online to look for it because i thought well if they have it they'll send it to the store whatever you know or i can pick it up some other time but i ended up finding the kind that have a little chimney you know uh, but because we we have our vent, like it's the holes like right here on this wall. Little chimneys, they require like a little hole up at the top. But we found one that doesn't need a vent hole because it'll, uh, what is it? It'll circulate the air, the same air inside the house and you just need to buy a different kind of filter for it and et cetera. And the price was really good. It was like $138. And I said, okay, I'm going to order that one. That's the one I want. So we decided to knock out the cabinet up here <laughs> so that's what oh my god i'm looking at it right now in the, in the camera and i'm not really i don't know if i really like the that's the yellow wall because our kitchen is yellow and then we have painted that like a baby blue but then when we painted everything gray the baby blue just didn't look too good so we decided to just paint it yellow because all the walls are yellow and then we decided to paint the back of these cabinets to look like well that's the wall behind them too uh it doesn't look so great on camera but when I'm here looking at it, it looks good to me, it does. So we'll see, once we have this out and we have the, uh, the thing here. So anyway, I ordered it uh, and it said it was gonna arrive on a Tuesday, which was March the 10th. I'm shopping around and then I get an email <clears throat> that uh, it had arrived. So we headed over to Home Depot, my sister-in-law and I waited over there, went to the online pickup. They took it out, they took it to my car, boom, boom, boom. They asked me for my ID, everything. Okay, yeah, whatever, okay. Great, I put it in my car, I get home, I tell my husband, oh, by the way, it's in the car, get it down. He gets it down, he puts it in the garage. Two weeks later, <laughs> we finally get somebody that's gonna be able to come uh, to our home. He's gonna come this past Sunday. And uh, we're, so we get excited, because he says, yes, I can be there. It doesn't even take me a couple of hours. I need some help, my husband says, I'll help you. Uh, this is when I'm home, it's perfect. Let's just do that. We had a mask here to offer him, you know, before he walks in, we had gloves, everything to offer him because, you know, we, we both want to be, we want him to be safe, we want us to be safe. So, uh, <clears throat> and he had to it to our home. So we had all these things and um, then my husband, he went to go get it from the garage and he puts it out here and he opens up the box and he takes it out and he puts it right here on the island. And I'm like, oh, that looks really big. And my husband looks at the box and he goes, whoa, it's 36 inch. And I'm like, 36 oh. inch? Oh my goodness, there's my cat again, I just fed her. What in the world do you want? What, baby? I don't know what he's saying. I don't, I don't do cat talk. I don't know why I think. Okay, that's enough. 
Okay, so I'm saying it's supposed to be a 30, and it's like, well, it's just 36, and I go, it's a 36. Will not fit in my 30 inch. I mean, like, you know, my husband wasn't thinking. He just was glad that that was gonna get, <laughs> baby, let me go take care of my cat and I'll be right back. Okay, so we realized that the range is not the size that I thought I had ordered. So I quickly go and look at my email and, and had, I tell my husband, call the man and tell him, never mind, don't come because he was gonna be on his way. It was only gonna take him like 10 minutes or something like that. Tell, tell him to come after all because we don't have the correct range. So in the, in the meantime, I'm checking my outline and I'm looking at my order through Home Depot. Sure enough, I ordered a 30 inch. When I got my confirmation, it still said 30 inch. When it said that I picked it up, it still, it still said 30 inches. And I said, something is wrong here. Something is so wrong. They gave me a 36 instead of a 30. And we're not really looking at the, the picture or anything like that. We're just like, the, the box is wrong, this thing is wrong. Put it back in the box. Let's go to Home Depot. I tried to do like calling Home Depot on the phone and I was on hold forever. So we just said, you know what, let's just go to the store. And uh, you know, we got ourselves all prepared. We went to the store and we get there and we um, you know, waited a little bit. They were very nice. Everybody's six feet apart. And um, the girl was very nice. Uh, and I told her that I wanted to return it because it's a 36 inch and I ordered a 30 inch. And uh, my confirmation, I have my email, I had it all on my phone, I have a little paper, and actually the paper that I, that they gave me when I picked it up, uh, had another name on it, but I thought, well, maybe that's the person that boxed everything, I have no idea, so, but, uh, you know, anyway, uh, and, and on there it's a 36 inches, so I'm saying, everything says 30, 30 inches, except this is not a 30 inch, and this paper doesn't say 30 inch, this is not what I purchased. So she's like, okay, let me have your paper. And she's looking it up. She goes, well, you know, it does come up as a 36. And I go, okay, I understand it's a 36, but I ordered a 30 inch. She's like, okay, so you want to return this one? And I go, well, yeah, I want to return it. I want to get the one that I actually ordered because it is obviously not the one that I ordered. My confirmation even says it's a 30 inch. When it says that it had arrived at the store, I have my 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 little receipt, my, my email that says it's a 30 inch still on there. I paid, actually I paid $146 for it because when I first put it on, the, on my shopping cart, it was $138 on sale, but I didn't finalize my sale till like, like a few days after, and the sale had already finished, so I paid $146, so it was another $7. I didn't even care about those $7. I paid $146 for that specific range, plus another $25 for uh, like some filters so that it could be, you know, uh, the kind that, you know, rotates the air. I can't even think anymore. So anyway, um, let me check on my chicken. Zucchini still needs more cooking. Uh, so anyway, at this point, I'm getting a little bit uh, upset. I'm not saying anything to her, but I'm looking at my husband like, this is really stressing me out. He's like, just relax, calm down. You're gonna, they're gonna give you money back or get you the right item. Well, when she's doing the whole return, she's giving me credit of $79.99, which is $80 and something. And I'm like, and I see the thing on, just for me to sign for that. And I'm like, why is it only $80? I paid $146, uh, you know, because I thought, well, give me my credit back, right? Get, take this thing, this is the wrong one. They gave me the wrong thing. Give me credit for what I paid for, and then I'll reorder it. That's what I thought in my head that I was just going to go ahead and just do. Uh, unless they could order it for me there. But the, you know, the young lady, she was very kind and very, she was very useful, but she was getting a little bit confused as what was, she's supposed to do because all the whole thing was looking really, really confusing to her. And she says, but yeah, but the item comes up as $77. I can't give you credit for more than that. And I go, no, you're not giving me credit for this particular item because this item that I'm giving you is not what I ordered. I was given this and then I look at it and I'm like looking at the picture and I go, look, even the picture on here and the item number is not what goes with my receipt. So she looks at my receipt and I go, that item and she goes, she's like, okay, well, let me see if it's here for some reason. And we gave you the wrong one. So she's looking back there. I don't know what she's looking for. She comes back. She's like, no. And she goes, ma'am, when did you pick up the item? And I said, I picked it up two weeks ago. It was March the 10th when I picked it up. It was loaded up for me. It got unloaded for me. I never even looked at the box till today. And that's when I realized it's the wrong item. So she keeps telling me, but... It still keeps coming out as 80, so I'm not, that's all I can give you. And I go, let me have the manager, please. I want to speak to the manager because I did not pay for this item. This item was given to me by mistake. 
I paid for something else. So you guys are getting it, right? And she's kind of getting it too, but she doesn't know how to fix that. And then she says, she said something like, um, yeah, I, and I said, well, I have my, my credit card statement saying that I got charged as much from Home Depot, blah, 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 I'll show you that, but, you know, and she's like, well, that's your Home Depot card, you know, right? It's right on here. You, you pay with your Home Depot card. And I go, no, I didn't pay with a Home Depot card. I don't have a Home Depot card. She goes, well, it says here you pay with a Home Depot card. And I go, honey, I don't have a Home Depot card. My husband's like, we don't have a Home Depot card. <laughs> we pay with our own card. And so that's when she says, what is your name, ma'am? And she had turned the screen over and I could see like another name that matched the one in the paper that I had. But then there was still yet another name, a Monica something. And I told her, well, my name is Trisha Flores. And I go, it's, it's Patricia in the payment. But online, I'm signed in as Trisha Flores. And this all came to me as in letting me know in my emails. It says Trisha Flores. And she says, not Monica. No, my name is not Monica. She, you're not from so-and-so. And I'm like, no, I live here in Arlington. That's where the situation, she finally, she finally said like, oh my gosh, yeah, they gave you the wrong item. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I've been saying all along. My husband and I are like, yeah, that's what happened. But we're thinking my item's not there. And I'm like, well, then what happened to my order? Because, you know, uh, will I still get it? What's happening? Uh, so the manager was already already listening to all the story. He was like, well, where's your manager? He was, he's right here. And he's like, I'm right here. He was just doing something else, but he was listening to the whole thing. And, and you know, and, and I'm saying, oh. she goes, you know what? What was your name again? And then I told her, Trisha Flo. She goes, I think your item's here. And she turns around to go look. And I'm telling my husband, oh my gosh, I wish she had done that when I first told her to do that because I could see a box that looked just about the right size and it said, I could see range or something on there, the, like a little picture of the chimney one. The one that we were returning was a 36 inch, but it was just a, like this style. It was just, you know, that goes under a cabinet or something. Oh my goodness. She brings it. I wanted to cry. I was getting all like, oh, I want to cry. Oh my goodness. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. You know what? Somebody did something and they put the sticker on the wrong box and that's what happened. And I'm like, I'm so glad that my item's still there. Because I, at first I had asked, well, how long do you hold the items for? Maybe it's still here. And she says, we hold it for 30 days. And I go, well, maybe it's back there somewhere by the correct item that, that I actually ordered. You know, I'm giving you something for free that I don't, I did not buy. You know, I could have kept it and just said I never picked it up or something. And I go, you all even asked me for my ID. You know, you verify with an ID. And she said, she's like, I don't understand how this happened. But, and then she looks at the, she looks at the ticket. And I guess the ticket tells you who printed out the ticket, who the employee was or something. She goes, oh, I know who did this too. <laughs> she went like that. And I was like, oh, I feel really bad for whoever that was. They're probably going to hear about it. We got the box. We, she brings it out. Let's verify everything. The model number, everything, you know, with my receipt, everything. The picture that I have of the home people, the, the picture of the item. It matches the one uh, described in the picture of the actual box. And we're like, and the manager standing there. I'm like, who's the manager? And he goes, yeah, and I'm like, I, just, I just want you to know, we wanted to talk to you, but it's already taken care of. And it's not about her. She didn't do anything wrong. You know, but so, something went, went on. She's like, yeah, I'll, I'll explain it. And he was like, yeah, I, I was hearing it all, blah, 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 blah. And then he says, oh, we're walking away. Thank you, Holly, whatever, whatever. And the, he says, hold on, oh, please, please don't leave yet. And he writes us out this $50 credit. So he gives us $50 credit on our next visit. So we got, we got $50 even on that. Just That's my story. All that, just to tell you that. But I do have my range. And the gentleman that was going to come and do the work, uh, we called him back and said, hey, you know, we ended up getting the correct ranges. Can you still come? And he says, well, I'm going to go over to my daughter's house uh, because since you guys said you didn't need me after all, I told her that I would go change a, a lock on her door or something like that. And he goes, it shouldn't take me very long. As soon as I'm done with that, I'll let you know that I'm on my way. So we were like, great. <laughs> we get home and we're waiting and waiting and my husband's like, let me call him just to check, you know. Uh, but then the guy calls and he says, hey, you know, I'm not gonna be able to go today after all. I'm really sorry that it's taking me this long. My, my daughter actually had other things for me to do. And then my husband's like, well, whenever you can come, we're okay even if you wanna come in late. And he goes, well, you know, listen, um, I decided that um, today's not gonna be a good day. He goes, how about if I come next Saturday? I'm gonna take a whole week 
away from people, blah, blah, blah. My husband says, we understand, no problem. Um, he's, you know, wants to be home with his wife, we understand. So now we're waiting to see if maybe Saturday, if it gets put on, and then we can just go ahead and finish everything. And then I can do, you know, some nicer videos with a better, nicer background, even though I'm gonna be the only one that likes it. Okay, my zucchini here is almost done, and I've had it on a low. So I wanna make my tortillas. I need a measuring cup, excuse me. Okay, so I have no idea when my battery died. I'm not gonna repeat my story if y'all didn't hear it. At the end of the day, we ended up getting the correct range and we got a $50 credit too. Okay, so I'm gonna do my tortillas and my tortillas call for a third cup of coconut flour that I've already measured out here. And then I need a quarter cup or a quarter teaspoon, excuse me, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. I'll put this recipe in the description box below if you want to try these. And then that gets mixed around. Let me get a little. I oh, got a new one. Here it is. This size. Let's mix these two dry ingredients. We'll also mix the dry ingredients really well together to make sure that that baking powder gets distributed all over it. We don't get like a little pocket of a little pocket, a little pocket of baking powder. My zucchini is almost done on the, the chicken here. That was gonna let me know that everything's cooked. Okay, so then to this uh, coconut flour baking powder, we're gonna add the egg whites, and I need eight egg whites. And that is two times a three quarter cup. Okay, so I'm gonna measure three quarter cups twice and that will equal to eight egg whites. And I don't want to measure the three quarter that's way up above the one cup. I want to make sure that I'm only measuring that one. And it just seems like so much. Is it really two, two times? Okay, let's do this. Three quarter, three quarter, right? Yeah, that just seems like a lot of egg whites, doesn't it? I know that I've already done this before, but uh, okay. Let's mix that in. I feel like this is all wrong, you guys. It's supposed to be like a like a pancake batter, like a, even like a, what are those called, those crepes? Yeah, like that. That's what it's supposed to end up looking like. Okay, so then I'm going to need water, even more liquid, and a little bit of salt. It says a pinch of salt. And I decided that I want to add some seasoning to this just to make it taste a little bit more special. Give them a little flavor, especially if you're going to use them like to make a taco. This is going to have enchilada sauce and all kinds of like cheese. Oh, look, look how, look how it's thickening up, you guys. It's getting nice and thick. Okay, so let me get some water in here so I can measure up the tablespoons. Okay, so I need 10 tablespoons of water. So one, two, five, seven. I think even when I did it the first time, I think I may have had this recipe. This says it makes uh, 17 small tortillas. And I actually bought a small little pan just to make those tortillas. Okay, yeah, it's it's getting thick like a pancake uh, batter. I want you to see it. I don't know if that was covering or not, but it's not like real thick or anything, but it's getting thick. I think it's the egg whites getting, you know, a little, a little bit of a whipping action going on there. Okay, I have a little bit still left in here. All right, so now let me turn off my chicken. I'll be, oops, aha, I caught it with my hip. This little um, utensil. All the chicken broth that I have put in here all evaporated. So we're gonna turn that off. Let me turn the smaller, smaller one here. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to use my little scoopy scoop 
It's missing a handle, but I still use it. I love it. I'm never going to let it go until I can find a new one. Uh -uh. But why get a new one when this one works just fine? Okay, so I think I've mixed that up really, really well. That is sink. Oh, this hot water. I just toss it now, get into that thing with hot water in it. Okay, so let's put that out of the way. Pinch of salt, pinch of salt. I was already forgetting the salt. I'm just gonna use this pink Himalayan salt. I'm gonna turn it a little bit here. And I wanna use a little bit of seasoning. And I've been liking using uh, this uh, garlic and herb. It's a salt-free uh, from McCormick Perfect Pitch. So I've, I've been liking to use that. Where I've, I, I've, how, did I say that correctly? I like using it. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of that in there. And let's get our pan hot, I think it's hot. I don't recall if I have to spray it with anything. <sighs> da, 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 da. Drop a little bit in the middle, then roll it around and spread it out, mix it well, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna lower the tap now because this gets hot. Small pan, yep, it's hot. I'm gonna lower it. And let's pray this comes out. I need a plate. Plate. And I've got my spatula, my spatula ready. Okay. Get this. And just a little bit. In the middle of the pan, I believe that's how we did it last time, and then just roll it around just to spread it out a little bit, and that's why you need a, a small little pan, because that it keeps you from rolling, you know, spreading it out too much. Okay, so it's going to bubble, and then once it's like bubbling like an actual tortilla does when you're cooking it, we're going to flip it. Now this takes, this says, uh, uh, it will bubble up and watch closely about two minutes, but uh, we'll see. Because it's already bubbling up, you guys. And I wouldn't be surprised if the first one burns, because that always happens. I was just checking it. It's it's kind of like if you're making a really thin omelet because of all the egg white. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I feel like I should put... I felt like I should put a, oops, that one broke on me. That's okay, that's okay, we're doing okay. Um, I feel like I should spray with some oil. Okay, I'm gonna be here a while. I'm gonna make, let me show you that one. Well, that one didn't come out too good. <laughs> it broke. Maybe I should show you one that comes out nicer. But it doesn't take very long. Can you see that in the pan? Okay. Ugh. Well, here. See what it looks like? Of course, this one tore on me. Let me look at the other side. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. Let me toast it up a little bit more. A little piece that broke off. Okay. What I like about them is they're pliable. Get a little piece out of there. Kill it off. A little piece here. They're very pliable. It's a very pliable tortilla. You can fold it up and roll it up a little bit. So I can make it, use it for a taco. I can, um, like if I didn't put the seasoning on it, what I could do is I could butter them up and if you wanted to, instead of a salt, or what, you still put salt. Instead of this, maybe a little bit of stevia, make them sweet. Make a little butter on them. It really just tastes like an egg white omelet. <laughs> but the seasoning helps. Okay, I'm gonna make some more. Let's see how many I can get done here. A little tiny bit more in there. So it's not too thin. Okay, we don't want to spread it out too much. 
Okay, so I'll be back once I get more of those tortillas done. And then I'm gonna chop up the chicken that I had in there, probably a little bit of the squash. All right, everyone, I am finishing up my tortillas. I've got one last one. I've chopped up my chicken here, mixed it up with my, my squash. And that's what I'm gonna fill my enchiladas with. I also had some cheese and I had some shredded up Colby and Monterey Jack cheese, but it was a like a small amount. So I went ahead and I pulled out another package, an Italian blend. Whatever cheese you have, if you have a Mexican blend, use that. But otherwise, it doesn't really matter. But look, look at the tortillas, how they're looking right now. Now, this recipe does say it makes 17 small tortillas. I remember the first time that I made them, I think I only got like 11 of them. And I'm getting less, <laughs> less this time. Okay, just making sure everything's turned off here. My oven is already preheated because I didn't want to put these in the oven. Okay, let's see how many did I get. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight, but two of them are really thick because I thought, well, maybe I'll make it a little thicker. They won't fall apart so so much. Uh, you know, they won't tear on me. Uh, and I feel like that's like two. Ugh. I could have gotten two tortillas instead of, you know, or I would have gotten four tortillas instead of two. They're kind of thick. So I decided to go a little bit thinner, but the trick to it was to go ahead and uh, spray. So I used um, this coconut oil, coconut oil spray. <coughs> Excuse me. Just spray your pan a little bit. So it's easier there because uh, what was happening is little parts would stick and I would try to get my, <coughs> excuse me, my goodness, I had a little, a little dry bit of that in my throat. I tried to, uh, move it with a spatula and then make it fold it up and then because some parts are still raw so they kind of stick together you know like an omelet that happens so anyway but this is a pretty little tortilla isn't that nice it almost looks like a flour tortilla okay so i'm just going to build up my my yummy enchiladas so let's do it this way which is the prettier side doesn't matter i think i wanted the prettier side out even though i'm going to cover it with with sauce okay so i'm just going to put some of this in there it's already 6 p.m. My husband's not home yet, but he just called me. He said he was on his way home. Okay. I'm gonna make it pretty thick and just, just roll it up a little bit like that. Okay, and I'm gonna put this facing down uh, because I think one or two is gonna be enough for each of us. Now, if I made it with corn flour, uh, sorry, corn tortillas, not flour, because I don't make enchiladas with flour tortillas. I'm making it with corn. If I'd have made him with, my mouth is watering now. First it was dry, now it's watering. Uh, <clears throat> if I'd have made him with corn tortillas, I probably would have eaten like four or five of them, to be honest with you. And when I go to the restaurants and I order them, I, I, I order what is called a, usually a Mexican plate, and it has two enchiladas, a taco, and a chalupa. Now I like ordering that combination because I get the enchiladas, but then I get a crispy taco and a crispy uh, chalupa. Okay, so that was my husband. Uh, he decided to stop off at the grocery store. He said it looks like it just opened. It, it's probably just really, you know, dead because a lot of people aren't going anywhere unless it's absolutely necessary. I think I put a little too much in this one. I'm just going to fold it. like <laughs> It's going to tear up on me. It sure is. I'm still going to make it, you guys. It's going to go in my pan. Look at that. I've got three... <laughs> Okay, let's roll this one up. Maybe if I make them in here, it'd be easier to roll it up. Oh my goodness, it's going to be one of those texting sessions where back and forth, back and forth. Because I wish she hadn't gone, because we don't need anything. Well, he needs his almond milk, but I have walnut milk. We should just try that one. But okay, all right. Let's see. <laughs> I told them, since well, since you're in there, <laughs> give me an eggplant and uh, while you're there, see if they have any ricotta cheese. Uh, because I'm thinking that I wanted my eggplant because I wanted to make a, did I tell you guys? I wanted an eggplant, but it, I had one in there, but it was bad and I had to throw it out. Anyway, um, to make a lasagna, excuse me again. Okie dokie. 
had to walk him through the grocery store to find the a cottage cheese. He found it, but he's gonna go look for the eggplant. And I told him, if you don't get the eggplant, don't bother with the ricotta cheese. I have cottage cheese, so if there hadn't been any ricotta, I'm just gonna put this look, look. Mmm. Okay. Happy dance. Oh my gosh. Wow. Something in there just tasted delicious. Maybe the chicken. Or I don't know, but maybe it was a cheese. chicken and a squash, the zucchini probably. Okay, so now my kind of a, not made from scratch, but homemade uh, enchilada sauce. And you can just put as much as you want or a little as you want if you don't feel like, you know, you're not sure you're gonna like it. Put a little bit. That's if you decide to do what I'm doing. I should have put some of this sauce on the bottom first. That always happens to me. I always forget. Oh, I'm just gonna pour the whole thing on it. Make them all soggy. Make a big old soggy mess. Okay. And now the rest of this cheese <clears throat> on top. Okay. I feel like I need more cheese. <laughs> yes, I am losing weight. <laughs> Even though I'm adding a lot of cheese, it's unbelievable. But anyway, very slowly, you guys, but it's happening. And you know what? <clears throat> this Saturday, my husband went out to go get us some breakfast. And you know, you want to get a breakfast taco. So I said, we just give me some, give me, give me two of them. Give me two bacon and egg breakfast tacos. Uh, and what I'll do is uh, <clears throat> I'll just take out the egg and the bacon out of the tortilla. And I won't eat the tortilla because it's going to be a flour tortilla. Uh, it was going to be a flour tortilla. It was. Um, so I said, I, I won't eat the tortilla. Anyway, I'm going to put this in the oven. And I'm just gonna put it in there, maybe seven, 10 minutes or so. I just want it to get like bubbly, maybe longer. I don't know, we'll see. It is right now 6.23, you guys. Okay, so yeah, I asked him for the tacos. Yeah, he placed an order. He went and he picked up, came home. Two tacos, really nice. And I'm like, oh, they're so nice and full. You know, and it was great because all I was gonna eat was the bacon and the egg inside of each one of them. But guess what I did? I just, I, I wasn't even thinking. I took the two tacos. Put them on a plate, got my coffee, because I we made coffee here at home, and then they had given us a little, little salsa, little, little two little things of salsa for each, well, one for each taco. So I had two of them for myself. When to sit down in the living room, we're gonna watch David uh, in the kitchen on QVC. Of course, I still, I look at my laptop and whatever's on there. <laughs> and this is before the whole thing about the man coming over. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> no, actually, we had, I think at the time we already knew. I wasn't sure. Anyway, um, I started eating the tacos, the two flour church, and I didn't even think about it when I was eating them. I was just eating them, and it wasn't until later in the evening when I told, you know, my stomach wasn't feeling so good, and we we're gonna eat something, I was gonna make some dinner for my husband, and I told, you know, especially, I was thinking that my stomach was a little stressed out after the whole thing with the hood and all that happened, and the whole, the miss, you know, the wrong item and all that at Home Depot. I thought that's why my stomach was hurting. I have to lean over a little bit, you guys, because my back hurts. But anyway, um, <clears throat> it was then that I realized, you know what I did? And he's like, oh, and I said, I ate the two tacos. And he goes, yeah. And, and I said, I ate two, the, the, ta the whole thing. And he goes, he was like, yeah, I don't know what you, what you mean. Because it didn't really dawn on him what I was trying to say. And I said, no, I mean, I ate the tortilla, everything. And he's like, oh, and he's like, oh, honey, I'm sorry. And I'm like, oh, gosh. And then I felt so bad. I felt such guilt for having eaten two flour tortillas. And I was like, man, I had already lost yet another pound. So I was at, um, I think at 33 pounds lost. So I thought, oh, man, I hope this didn't somehow make me gain back a pound or two, which, okay. <laughs> Don't need to cry over it because I had already told myself that, you know, we were going to be able to go out to eat. This is before this whole thing happened. You know, I would treat myself and let myself have, you know, some something. But um, <clears throat> that I would go ahead and have a little cheat meal is what I wanted to say. Um, but um, that wasn't going to be it. It wasn't planned. So I didn't. 
enjoy the way that I thought I would enjoy it. I mean, I did enjoy it because it was a good, there were good tacos, but I felt guilty the whole time. Uh, yesterday morning, I got up and I said, well, I'm going to weigh myself. I'm going to see what happened. And no, I lost yet another pound. And then I'm thinking, well, I wonder if, because it's been a week and a half since I had lost, last weighed myself. And I thought, I wonder if I had maybe lost maybe a little bit more than a pound. And uh, I weighed myself twice just to make sure. I was just a little over a pound, but I don't even count that because if it's, you know, because, you know, that can go up and down during the day. You can go up and down a pound or two during the day, you know, depending if you retain any water or you get swollen because you've been working, you've been exercising or whatever. You swell up, you retain water or whatever. And then in the morning, you're fresh again. So weigh yourself in the morning, everybody. And then don't, don't do it for another week. So anyway, yeah, so I still had lost a pound, yet another pound, so I'm at 34. Let me think. Yeah, I'm at 34 pounds lost now. I know you can't really, really tell you guys because, you know, I'm a larger than larger person. So, you know, a little bit is not very noticeable. I think it is a little bit. What do you think? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I feel it right here. I feel it right here. I feel very, of course, my pants are falling. My top is now really big when it was fitted when I first got it. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to wait for my stuff to come out. I don't remember. What time did I say? It was 6.23, so it's 6.27. Been four minutes. Okay, I'll be back when that comes out of the oven. And there we go. Let's close this. Oh, look at the enchiladas, you guys. Oh, they look so good. All right, you guys, I'm going to put the recipe to the actual the tortillas, okay? Not for the enchiladas, because you can make your enchiladas however you want. I'm gonna give you the recipe for the tortillas, and remember to give them a little bit of seasoning, maybe a little bit extra salt and just a little pinch, just to bring out the flavors in it. But you can uh, add any seasoning you want besides what I did. You can do like a little bit of paprika or chili powder in there if you want, a lemon pepper, whatever little flavor to flavor up your, your tortillas. And also uh, spray your pan. A little, just make a little pan, and then also don't make them. You know, don't pour so much in there. The ladle that you saw, maybe like half of that, uh, rather than like a whole, trying to put a whole ladle of that. So anyway, um, <clears throat> but you could just do this. Don't worry about making the sauce because it was so good. The the chicken with the squash was so good that in the tortilla it tasted really really good with a little bit of that cheese in there as well. So I'm gonna recommend that. Um, you just make the tortillas and use them for whatever you want to use them for. So there we go. Uh, it's so beautiful, you guys. I can't wait to taste them. Kind of want to wait for my husband to be here, but I'm going to go ahead and dig in because I need to finish up this video, and I think he's not going to be home for another maybe, I don't know, seven minutes. Okay. Okay. I think it's time to taste these. Let's see, where, let me get this one that looks a little bit, you know, the one that I kind of squished into the edge here. Oh my gosh. All that juiciness coming up with it. Look at that. Oh. My dog's just barking at whatever. Pay no mind. There's my little enchilada, look at that. Let's cut it open. Of course, this one's not very pretty because, you know, so look at that, that's the inside. Freyola, Freya, hush. Let's taste this. I got a little bit of tortilla, a little chicken, some cheese on there, a little bit of squash. Mmm. I'm surprised. <laughs> I mean, I had already tasted it without the sauce, but actually with the sauce, it's pretty good. Okay, so let me tell you really quick. The chicken, I, I had three little chicken strips. Look at all that I made by that with that. I had three little chicken strips, and I just made, put salt, pepper, cumin, and garlic powder on them. I seasoned them, cooked them. I added some chopped up zucchini, however much you want to put in there. Mine was almost a whole uh, zucchini. I had used a little bit from the bag. Um, uh, for something else, I don't remember. So I may, it may have been half a zucchini actually. So anyway, I added that in there. I seasoned it a little bit more to get the seasoning of the zucchini. 
and then I added some chicken broth, and the chicken the chicken got cooked, but not too too well done because then I don't want it to get dry while the uh, zucchini is also cooking. So that cooked took maybe you know seven eight minutes or whatever time it took me to talk. Um, and then uh, I took out I took out the chicken strips and then I kind of shredded them up a little bit. So that was that. The sauce that I made for my enchiladas, that was a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. Now, if you don't have the one with green chilies, just diced tomatoes is fine. You don't have to have any chile in there. I added a, a tablespoon of um, chili powder, a teaspoon of paprika, and then I also seasoned it with salt, pepper, uh, the ground uh, garlic, and uh, cumin. Okay, and that all got put in the blender, and then I actually added a little bit of water to make it a little more loose because it was kind of thick in there. Oh my gosh! So, and then of course, I'm going to put the, the recipe for the tortillas in the description box below. It's so good, you guys. Okay, I did already make another video, the whatever I cooked yesterday, that'll be for Friday, but I'm going to go ahead and put this up as soon as I can get this up there. <laughs> And I hope you enjoyed uh, yesterday's video. I don't have a lot of views. Not very many people are watching videos right now. Um, you know, you'd think they would be, <laughs> but um, not mine anyway. But still, I really do appreciate those of you who have been watching that are that are there, um, keeping an eye on me. <laughs> and thank you. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so very much, you guys. Um, I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope that you two will give me a big old thumbs up because you know what? I had a little story time and then of course I made this yummy, yummy, yummy. This is really yummy and I'm I already eyeballing the next one that I'm going to grab because I'm grabbing another one. And I know my husband's going to love this because he has discovered that he loves zucchini. Anyway, everybody, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. Leave a nice comment down below. Down below in the description box are also the link to my Facebook page, Trisha's Creations, and also to my Instagram at Trisha Dix Lady. Uh, join me there, and uh, we can discuss some more things. And if you want to send me messages, you can send them there. My email's at the bottom also. Um, and I do have a P.O. box also. Uh, and that's it, everyone. Share on your social medias. And as always, oh my gosh, as always, 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 enjoy. Okay, so before I actually eat some more, I'm actually going to add some of this Cholula hot sauce because that's the way I like it. <laughs>